Cool. Okay. I'm good to go. Continue. The irate gamer. Emerald Splash. No one can just deflect the Emerald Splash. No one can just deflect the Emerald Splash. Cool. So here we are. We have Boone right here. He's a good boy. He, he eats his vegetables every day and he's really chill. Uh, and actually, one thing that I want to do is... Uh, I want to look up his, uh, his quest. Uh, so that I can, uh, just prioritize, uh, doing those things. Um... Okay, I got his thing up. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do the Nelson stuff. Because that will just be suicide. Um... There is... I want to kill Caesar. Maybe another time with that. Um, camp searchlight. Eh. God damn, the only way, the only way to do this thing is to, uh, is to attack the Legion. Um... Talking about bitter root at Camp McCarran apparently gets a plus one. So I guess we can do that. Have I even been have I been to Camp McCarran? Is that a thing I've done? Uh, was, was this place Camp McCarran? Uh, yeah, that's Camp McCarran. Okay. Bitterroot. 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 Morning. I'll do that. Ugh. I could grab Veronica. Her stuff is easier to get. Sure. No offense. Let's grab her. You look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? But fuck nowhere. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome, men. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves, but somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway, but that's a whole other story. Yes. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? I've heard they shoot lasers from their eyes. Wow. I've got to admit, you have completely defied my first impression of you. <laughs> Eye lasers. I'll be sure and look out for that next time. Any other juicy bits of intel? I met a group in of them in a bunker west of here. And? Uh, they seemed alright. You think? Well, good then. That puts me a little more at ease. Hey, so, where are you headed anyway? Uh... Go, uh, I go where I'm needed. I just kind of drift from place to place. Just wherever the wind takes you, huh? Yeah! I like that. Keeps things interesting. Yeah, it does. I'll be honest. 
You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Mm, uh, uh. Where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world, looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Uh, don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. You don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Hm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Okay. Uh, I'd like to, but I can't take you with me right now. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. What? Boon. Boon, there's this nice lady and she wants Bye to come night. with me, so you gotta go. Uh, give me that. What is it? Leave. All right. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first. I'm ready Good. to travel with you. I hoped you come. Let's go. I know, I know, but I had to. Yeah, yeah, you're part of the Brotherhood's Guild. Whatever. Um. As long as you're on this with me from now on. Sure. Just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Well, thanks for taking a chance on hey. a young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Yeah. I want you Does to use range though. My fists count as ranged? No. Eh, fine. Okay. Yeah, you'll uh oh. 315 of 225. That's not how that works at all. Which reminds me. Um You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No, I why do you have five Abraxo cleaner? No, I'm just giving you um a bunch of stim packs. You're 16. Have at it. Do I make her carry all of my toys? My toys! My toys! <laughs> eh, the light machine gun is in pretty bad shape. <laughs> we'll skip out on that. Uh, hi, Samuel. Welcome to the 188 Slopping Shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. You have a very good point there. I'd like to trade. You can't even afford that? Come on, man. It's just one gun. I could buy all of the Nuka Cola off of you, but for the life of me, I don't want that. Um, here, just take the light machine gun off my hands. It's in terrible condition. I don't want to repair it. Okay, cool. Let's go. Come forth, Veronica. Let's uh, let's see what happens. I gotta go to a few, uh, places. Okay, let me see. South Vegas Ruins East Entrance. I haven't been there? But I've been to the West Entrance. Okay. I'm gonna wanna get, uh, get her some good armor, cause... Currently, she has nothing, basically. Uh oh. It's getting. Veronica, you fuck! Hey, Super Sledge Classic, that's really cool. Go, me. Well, uh. That went well. First area we go to, Veronica's already dead. Okay, maybe maybe we should go to a different area. Let's start off by going to Camp McWinamna. Camp McCabamamama.
Oh uh, yeah, it's a war zone. Maybe we should buy some armor here at Camp McMamama. I know of just a place to go and I want to get some armor. It's not that far away. Away. Just gotta go upstairs, and then there's this central area over at Concourse. Hey. Uh, there's you. That's just the that that's just the food area. Uh, I believe I have to go through here, and then I can, and then I hit the armory. There he is. You. You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Sure, got anything for sale? You need to clean up your reputation or you're gonna get me in trouble. I'll have to charge you more to keep from arousing suspicion. Is that how that works? Okay. Damn, he is really screwing me on these prices. And here I thought we would be friends. God damn! 11,000 for an infiltrator? So, Veronica, I think you'll just have to go without armor for a little bit. Uh, we can still hit up... Yeah, we could hit up normal Vegas. Yeah, go go to Freeside's East Gate. See if we can get some good stuff in there. Buddy, spare a cap. I can make it worth your while. Hmm. Are you soliciting me? Ha ha ha! Oh, that's rich. You're not exactly my type. No offense. No, I meant I could give you a tip, earn my money, so to speak. What kind of tip? You look like you're new around here, so I'm sure I know all sorts of things you'd find useful. If not, well, it's only a cap. So what do you say? Yeah, but I didn't get rich by giving caps to random strangers. No, I just got randomly drunk one day and woke up with a fuckload of caps. I understand. Well, have a good day. Yeah. Hey, what can I get you? Uh, can I get some armor from you? Yeah, that's much worth the price of... God damn. Oh. Um... What about you? Welcome back. Can I get stuff from you? Do you have any special items for sale? Why? You work for one of the casinos? No. All of my guns are special. If anything catches your eye, let me know. Okay. You know, you're just adding some extra steps to this whole process. There we go. There's some combat armor mark too that I can give to uh, Veronica. So that she doesn't die in one hit. <laughs> Is 
Cybernetic Surgery Standard Edition. Nanobionic Weave. Sensor Modules. Need those. I also have the scrap metal, right? I do. Okay. Fella. None of that. By that. Okay, it's gonna cost me a pretty penny, but eh, it's worth it. Another satisfied. Yep. Veronica. Ooh, got something good for me? Yeah, but. Is it a dress? No, I bought you some armor, idiot. Now you won't die fast. Now we just need to get her a really good gun with a nice supply of ammunition. Back to Camp McCarran. I feel tired. The El Rey Motel, nice. Oh, you know what? This is the perfect place to go in order to get ourselves some, uh, a gun with some ammo. Just gotta wait for them to kill each other. Ah, uh, your leg is crippled. There you go, you got him. Good, Sonny Boy, he's dead. Good job. What you got on you? Electron tra uh, laser RCW. That's a pretty good gun. Uses electron charge packs. Can just be like, yeah, no, that that's something that Veronica is probably good with. I don't know. I saw one guy over here. Yep, there's his body. No, no. Don't disappear! Whew. More electron charge, another laser RCW. Not touching that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just like, this is a war zone. I'm not gonna go throwing myself out there. I'm just gonna hang back, let they them kill each other and then you know loot the place it's called strategic uh, investment of my time cool uh, so let's see. Yeah, it's this uh, leftmost one supposedly will take me exactly where I need to go. Does it actually? Is it taking me a Vault Twenty Two? Because if that's the case, there is an easier way to go about it. Uh, I just gotta become more friendly with the great Khans. Oh. Oh. Well then. I'm helping. I'm helping. Hey, Ro. How's it going, dude? What you up to? Hunting rifle. Good choice.
You stop that right now. Try and get my bearings. Where am I? Where are they? I guess I won. Show them for now. I feel that. I, I took a nap before stream. I, I was I was cranky today. I was having so like like a simple conversation was like taxing on me. I was like I I just can't do this. I was not in the mood. So much stuff. So much stuff. Well, you got a hunting rifle. Eh, it's pretty good. Pretty good condition right there. Well, nice to know that investment uh, towards Veronica so far seems to be uh, working out well. She's not dead yet. <laughs> Did I raid loot you? Oh, it looks like it did. Okay, cool. Um, let's go to Vault 22. You watched South Park clips, and one was where Cartman didn't want a shot, and eventually. <gasps> ah, what the fuck? He was put in a Wrangler's pen, his mom jumped in and got shot instead, and became artistic. Nuck, nuck, nuck. South Park is a... It is a satire. making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No. It's a laser RCW. And then... 29 electron charge packs. Enjoy. Okay, what is Fall Guys and why is it so popular? I'm seeing, like, everyone play it. The elevator doesn't work. We have to use stair. Nice place. It's over here. Door. Door. I already know the uh, entire story for this vault by memory, so. Yeah. Kinetic accelerator implant. Kinetic accelerator. It either makes me run faster or bullet time is more effective. Those are my guesses. Terminal. Check inventory. I see. Then we're in great danger. That inventory is too small. Hey, six frag grenades. <laughs> I'm gonna eat these. Cool. Nope. No aliens in there. So for those of you that don't know, this vault fell victim to aliens. Also, something happened and Finland was like, we gotta tell the aliens and then randy was like okay g 
get off the call and we do private one with the other nations. We need to get rid of Finland. Finland gets nuked about uh, the space police ask what happened. Oh, uh, no, Finland. Oh. My, my god, Rote, that's so crazy because that is exactly the story to this vault. Like, like verbatim, that is exactly what happened. What the fuck? Come on. Why, why the fuck did that one just f fall? He just like tripped, which, which I don't know how that happens, considering they run on all four. Well, I guess you can trip while running on all fours. So I had the game muted uh, when I picked up the quest as to why we're down here. Uh, long story short, basically the reason we're down here is because uh, a good 1950 scientist man from a uh, sci-fi movie uh, came up to us and said, Yo, uh, I'd like you to go over to this place and pick up the technology uh, that is allowing all of the uh, all, all, all of this growth. Uh, and I said, Okay. Um, and then some uh, his woman his his female assistant basically went like, Yo, he. Uh, you're not the first person to go. I just want you to know that, uh, so you might die. And I was like, okay. Uh, and then she also told me about her, uh, friend who came here as well. Uh, her mentor, I believe. Um, and basically asked me to keep an eye out for her in case she's still alive. Hey, Dan. Oh, what? He just, Okay. Bingo, bango, bongo, he is Gonzo. This is actually one of the few areas where having Veronica go melee might not be a bad idea. Yes, finally. We'll quick save just in case. Me open the door. The tech. Last of us monsters. Yeah, basically. But, 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 oh wait, there's stairs. So yeah, um, the story of this vault is basically, they were testing, uh, basically, uh, ba basically super seeds, uh, super plants that, uh, could grow in any environment. Uh, and they worked, uh, but they worked in such a way that, uh, uh, that, uh, they, they would grow in any environment. They would, uh, fucking the, the shit would, the plants would grow inside of people. And then, uh, it basically mutated them into these, uh, nice little spore creatures. So, you know, it's a good day. It's a good time. Whoa, an apple. Whoa, another apple. Whoa, a carrot. Expedition entries. I wonder what this room was used for. Uh, of course, it's the pool room. I would never have guessed. Cave fungus, I'm down. I'll eat cave fungus. I mean, you know, it's fungus. That's like mushrooms, right? You know, just fucking cook that shit in, in some uh, wasabi and damn, it'll be delicious. That's how that works, right? Ladies, gentlemen. No. 
I find it interesting that I'm up against runs here. Yeah, I'm up against Spore Carrier Runts, which uh, seems interesting. Oh, there's not th there's not one there. Okay. Oh, well, I wanna know what would make this place fucking awful if it had the uh, the flood music from Halo. I would hate that. Unlock crew quarters. Unlock data backup. Unlock cavern access. There we go. Yeah. One good thing about this place is that we're carrying a shish kebab, which is extremely effective against these plant-based creatures as you can imagine plants do not like fire crazy i know uh -oh. <laughs> it's over so fast I'm not even seeing them. I just swing whenever I enter one of these things. Because, uh... I just know that they're inside those things. Inside the, uh... The grass. But I don't exactly... I, I can't exactly see them, so I just kind of go, uh, swing, swing. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these jumpsuits because... There's a place I can go to. Oh, it's the entire family of spore carriers. It's cute. Cave door key card. It's one of the stairs. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, but the, uh, these jumpsuits I can actually give to a woman later, and she'll be like, Yo, fuck me! It's great. What the? Yeah, you stop that right now, or so help me. So help me. Ah! I didn't kill- Okay, thank goodness. I was very scared that I killed you right there, Veronica. I don't know my own strength. A mastered our unarmed skill. And now we can use the two step goodbye. Which basically means we punch things and they explode. It's great. Ball 22 jumpsuit. Again, good old jumpsuits. They're delicious. I grab the jumpsuits from in here. I did not. I did not. I did from in here though. Yes. Okay. No? Okay. Jet! Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take that scrap metal, why not? Guess I actually have quite a bit of scrap metal. What I mostly need is sensor modules now. Because I can convert them uh, alongside dynamite into pipe bombs, which is great. Utilimity. Ticket one, strange noises. Ticket two, gas leak?
Sure, I'll take flamer fuel. Ah, yes, a flamer. Which, uh, given today's environment, is not exactly great. Um, Incinerator would be better, uh, because it's, uh, it at least has range. But, at the same time, I just have this shish kebab. Stairs. More. Oh, right. Stairs. I remember my first time going through this area. I was fucking terrified. Uh, because I was like, I can't see them. Uh, and I was basically just like spamming vats as I was walking in the hopes that. It, because uh, vats ignores. Uh, it ignores your eyes. Basically, if, uh, if they're there within vicinity, you can, uh, uh, you can vats them. You can see them. Um, I remember, uh, basically just spamming the vats button e uh, every second. Because I was terrified that I wouldn't be able to see them. Disengage lock. Oh, whoops. Tee hee. Quick save. What's around here? Where's Veronica? it. Oh, there's Veronica. She just had to in instant transmission over here. That's all. Look how it's a giant mantis female like like that matters. Hi, Desi! Can I have a mwah, please? Mwah! There you go, Desi. How are you today? Did you have a good day, Desi? You are loved. You are so loved. Hey, a pile of giant mantis eggs. I can use these in order to turn in that quest. You're sad? Why are you sad, Desi? What makes you so sad? Recycling. Also, I want to be sure when it comes to my stream because, like, my preview, it's extremely grainy. Like, is the stream actually extremely grainy or is it just my stream that's, ex or my preview that's extremely grainy? Morning, Wolverine. How are you today? Pretty good. Why are you sad? Why am I sad? I'm, I'm not sad. I'm just, I was tired. I was very cranky earlier until I took a nap. I did it. Get him! Get him! You won't see us coming! Get him! Get him! He was looking around the corner like, what the fuck?
Are you a toddler or something? I think everyone deals with being cranky until they take a nap. Like, you ever you ever wake up too early one morning? It fucking sucks. It's a little grainy. Okay. Because that's something I've been noticing lately, and I'm not... And I was unsure if that was, like, on my side or not. Oh, that's... That's fun. Yeah, so I'm... Just making some quick changes that'll hopefully fix that. You have a sleeping disorder? Ah, so you're you're just constantly cranky. That explains you, Zorphus. Yeah, uh... Ah, what the fuck? Oh, that was awesome. It's hot as hell, and then I walk out to cool myself off. It's not that cold, but me being really hot and then exposed to somewhat normal temperature makes me freeze, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's how it goes. Like, the heat from your body leaves your system as long as you move to a place that's colder. So, by all technicality, um... If you moved into a room that was 95 degrees... Uh... Uh, assuming that there is no direct sunlight. Ah, oh my fuck! Fuck? Oh, okay. Cool. Good job, Veronica. Um, you can mask it decently. Yeah. Nah, for uh, for me, a uh, similar thing happened to me, Desi. Uh, Wiggles woke me up at like 5 o'clock and was like, You little shit. You fucking ass. I got the research data. Mwah, mwah. By all, uh, by all, bleh, by all commonalities, Orphis, um, cursing is just a thing that was frowned in the South until more recently. I until things got more liberal around here. Uh oh. Ow. You fuck. We did it. A hug. Stupid liberals ruining everything. The fuck? I like being able to curse all I fucking want without somebody judging me. Like, can you imagine you get- you get horrendously judged because you end up saying the fuck word? That'd be fucking ridiculous. Come on. I haven't showered in a couple of days. Why haven't- why haven't you showered in a couple of days? Of course, I, I, I'm not exactly one to talk. I When I was in middle school, I was a fucking disgusting so, little shit. Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you. Uh, we can talk later. Right now, we need to get you out of here. All right, all right. Just trying to make a little conversation. Should have known a youngin' like you would be in a hurry. But that's neither here nor there. 
These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. You haven't been outside sweating? Have you been inside sweating? No potty mouthing. I knew you were going to make that joke too, Desi. I knew you were going to. Uh, how much are you... Uh, of course, I I'd be glad to help. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Okay. Second level. Mm, look at that ghoul ass. Mm. Don't run away from me, baby. Two times a week? Mm. I think every other day is okay. Um, in fact, I, I think uh, when it comes to your hair, I think uh, your hair is maybe like twice a week. But I think when it comes to this showering, it's best to do once so every fragile. other day. I had to jury rig this elevator a few days. Unless you have and to meet people. Fair away. enough. Ah, oh, that's got it. See you upstairs. Men stress you out. Why is this? Why is this locked? Was this? Was this unlocked before? No, no, it wasn't. Give me this prototype. This, this, this prototype. Are you helping her kill the plants? Yep! That's the intention. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? I guess. Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the More about ultimate wing-wing. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Hmm... How exactly should I ignite the gas? In the area where the gas is active, any kind of fire or explosion should do the trick. Hell, even lasers would do the job. If you don't have anything like that, I've got some grenades in my bag in the corner that you can use. Blast? Yes, there'll be an explosion when the gas is ignited. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Now leave me to my work. Any idea where these vents are that I'm looking for? I set the gas to pump into the fifth level since that's where the concentration of spores was highest. I'd start looking there. Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation systems. Look for a wall with two of them almost side by side. There's one just around the corner outside this lab if you need an example. Sounds dangerous, but I'll do it. Good. Return to me when it's done. Kenshi 2 is a precursor to Kenshi 1. Is Kenshi 2 actually a thing? Like, did they confirm that? Should have brought something to. Gonna have these two just wait here. I am hot, dying. Same, Desi. Same. You know, Desi, you'd be a little less hot if you took off your clothes. Nuck, nuck, nuck. To pest control. Let's see if I can remember. Let's see, I think it was over here? No, where was it?
Hmm. Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh, what we'll do... Some C4. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Because basically this entire place is going to ignite, so, uh... We want to be next to the exit when we do this. How do... Chop! Nope. I saw that fire coming towards me and I went, uh-uh! Aw, oh, just... Yeah, I did it. Ah, oh, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. It's been in development for six months? Didn't the uh, didn't Kitchy One take like two years for them to make? What needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Will it take long? No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments and... That's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Actually, I copied the files. Hilda sent me here to get them. Yes, that sounds like something he'd do. Well, there's nothing for it then. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Do it. Glad you're thinking clearly. I was afraid to blink there for a second. There. All done. That wasn't so bad, was it? I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run long now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. Yep. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. I came here for another reason. What the fuck? Oh, right. Right. I had a, I had a quest here. Looks like the item I need is actually on this level. Well, that's cool. Nope. Um. Oh, I have to go through the caves. Hmm. Hope the fire blast has uh has subsided. That'd be very bad if it didn't okay thank Christ I would have been fucking horrendous god damn it game can you oh that looks really good actually that looks so much better than Kenshi one Ah, they're using Unreal? Fuck yeah. I I hope the uh I hope the uh the TikTok ban doesn't affect uh uh doesn't affect uh uh the video game industry because uh because the way that the bill was written uh here in the US was basically like all the, uh, was basically like, all these, uh, companies from China that deal in software, yep, they gotta go. Uh, and it's like, okay. Which would make sense if it was just TikTok, but, uh, one of the ones that was, uh, one of the, uh, ones that is affected is, uh, what was it, Terrace? I think it's Terrace. Um, which basically has a hand in, like, 
every soft every like game out there and every software out there to a point where it's basically impossible to not be affiliated with china if you have a uh or uh if you are using um uh if you're in the gaming industry there we go you think make those 5G boxes and antennas? Fight bears for you? What? Why am I fighting bears for you? My hunger level has increased. No. Those real fast. <coughs> ah. Brahmin steak. She's afraid of fish sticks and chicken. Fish and birds, ye. Desi, your life is so unique. There we go. Got my HEPA cartridges. And now we can leave. wondering something. I'm wondering if uh, hold on. I'm gonna go radio silent for a moment. Or actually no, I don't have to. Oh yeah, no, that looks so much better. Actually, the green uh yeah, the graininess that was happening was actually probably because I, uh, I had to put on a, uh, filter in order to increase the light of everything. Yeah, no, it doesn't look that bad. It lo uh, yeah, no. It actually looks actually quite pretty. That looks quite pretty, actually. Okay, just want to be sure. BRB lurking. Go lurk! Tragic for you, my house. So amazing. Desi, can I be allowed in your household? Is that something that I'm allowed to do? It takes a bear to fight a bear, Desi. The only person that can fight a bear is a large gay man who doesn't care about his appearance. It's true. It's true. Yo. Welcome back, stranger. Only if you smell good. What smells do you smell like? Um, I think red, uh, Old Spice body wash, I think. Let's talk about the creature eggs you need. Do you have good news for the thorn? Uh, I bought the, the giant man's eggs. Good work, stranger. Yeah. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your service. I trust that we're in agreement Old over Spice. It. I don't agree with this because... Because it was very dangerous. And I just have more caps. Those are the risks of a hunter's life. I've delivered as promised. 
but perhaps I should better search for someone with greater resolve and honor. Uh, 200 caps are sufficient. Take the eggs. I thank you, stranger. The thorn thanks you. Is there anything else I can do to help the thorn? Bring me a dozen rad scorpion eggs. I'll see to it that you're rewarded fairly. This seems fair. Where can I find rad scorpion eggs? The eggs I see. I don't know, Desi. I don't know how to describe it. Your best chances are in the mountains north of Good Springs and west from Quarry Junction. I'll find a red scorpion. Got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. Yeah, Desi, I have no fucking clue. Um, like, I. Like, like with uh, with women's body washes, they're all like labeled by what they're supposed to smell like, but then they don't actually smell like what they say. So it's like you could say like. Oh yeah, I smell like ki uh, like like kiwi cucumber. It's like, oh, that sounds refreshing. And you know, it gives you the the, the impression like, ah, that's very refreshing. Uh, you don't actually smell like kiwi cu cucumber. In fact, uh, they don't even put that in the body wash, but you know, you know that you smell refreshing. With guys body washes, it's just like I smell like soap. You must become strawberry scented, then you may enter. I can't accept this. My body washes smell like they're supposed to. So, so Desi, if you smell strawberries, like a packet of strawberries, and then you smell your soaps, they smell exactly the same? Honey, rose, and apple are the scents I use, then... My lotion is lemon and all my room fresheners are apple. I just want to be sure, have you looked at the ingredients involved in all of your soaps? And do they actually use real fruits? Because I doubt it. I doubt it! Oh, whoop. Sorry, downstairs. Uh, I tried to hop over that, but... My character didn't jump because I was on a slope. There we go. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. It smells Thanks just like them. Safe. Mm, Here's the I don't know about I that. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Yay! Goodbye. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Uh, the Vault 22 data is gone. Destroyed. Destroyed? Really? I find that hard to believe. More likely, you failed to locate the proper server. Bitch! Keeley wiped the data. It's gone. Keeley, again. Do you... Do you understand what that rotting old bitch has done? Thousands of people, mass starvation, we had a chance to avoid that. And I had a chance to prove that scientists could be more than a bunch of useless idealists. But Keeley doesn't give a goddamn about that, does she? You're an accomplice in this. Keeley is one old woman. You could have easily stopped her. You're either incompetent or you're on her side. Now get out of this office. Get out. I shouldn't lose karma for that. Yeah, I don't think I should lose karma for that. I'll load up the save either way, though. Because I can't take the... The, uh... Reputation loss at the moment. Have an alternate soap so my hair gets too dry, but... Or I have two alternate soaps where my hair gets too dry, but every once in a while, like... Get this one brand that's like seventy dollars. It works really well until it doesn't. My name comes on the bottle. It's your own brand of soap, and you're paying for it, Desi. Uh, I I have a mayo. I have a mayonnaise that that has my name on the container. 
So, you know, I, I like to think I'm pretty important. <laughs> Three card bounty. Hmm. Yeah. Corporal Betsy about getting medical help for her traumas. Escape the East Pump Station. That's a thing I could deal with. You. There's a lot more troops here. You can't help but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. We're like an urban myth. No real presence on the outside. We just yep. don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. If it's worked for this long, there must be, uh, power armor and laser rifles are still effective. Yeah, but only if you've got bodies to fill the suits. We don't take on new members. We're all descendants from the original Brotherhood. Something's gonna have to change. <clears throat> the empty suits are gonna be all that's left of us. Yeah. What's up? Okay, I just wanna make sure that was it. Uh, no, that's fair, Desi. Uh, a lot of people don't like mayo. It's actually uh, pretty damn common uh, for people not like mayo. Uh, I, on the other hand, have an absolute adoration towards mayo. Specifically, Duke's mayo. Remember, if you're not eating it, you're not duking it. That's the slogan. It's mine. I did. <laughs> I would absolutely sponsor Duke's mayo. Be like, this mayo was made after me. Quite literally, I was born before it. Gross, nasty, horrible. Oh, bite me, Desi. Let me see your inventory and give you things. Oh, there you are. There we go. What's up? You want a gun? Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Desi, when was the last time you wore a dress? Oh. Interesting. So I still need a reverse pulse cleaner. Voler. Ring a ding ding. Oh yeah, I think I could just talk with uh, Ed and further his quest. I'm not sure. Let's see. No? Okay. Yesterday? What kind of dress was it? What color was it? Was it good color or bad color? It appears to have some Enclave Long Data Store that is triggered by some keywords. Yep. Rump Benny later. Abba Dabba Honeymoon. Oh yeah, I, I do still need to do that, don't I? Right. I don't know which is. Uh, that's a Legion raid camp. Um, we'll go here. 
we'll see what happens. Just normal blue, the usual. Not pink? What? Who are you? What have you done with Desi? Oh. Ah, that's the irradiated place. It's highly irradiated. Camp searchlight. Uh, we'll just go through it. There's a bunch of radiation, but whatever. Easy. Uh, we'll eat some centaur tongues just to, uh... Just to give ourselves a bit of resistance. Okay, it's still going up. Some rat X then. There we go. Look, a Mojave Express. Does jumping at the with my like an explosion happened there. Am I getting shot at? Can't tell. I think I'm okay. Irradiated in CR dog tag. Whoa, crazy. You don't own a pink dress? That seems very out of character for you, Desi. Closet is surprisingly neutral. Mm. Uh, courier is down here somewhere. Just gotta go find him. Yep. <coughs> Desi, you ever you ever think about if your dog became human? And like. Uh, and, like, how awful that would be. <laughs> you have too many clothes in already. Mm. Look! It, it's... It's the guy! Please, help me. Don't worry, guy. Are you Andrews? Jack and Diane sent me a look for you. Thank God. Let me down, please. Let's get you down from there. Ordinary guys with... Thanks for getting me down from that cross. I owe you one. What are you doing up there? A Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the river. When they found the, um, package I was carrying, they strung me up there. You're smuggling drugs? Well, not exactly. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south. But the Legion caught me. Thanks. Oh. You've saved my life Oops. and done the Great Cons a huge favor. Hi, New News. I'll be heading back to Red Rock Canyon now. Hi, New News. And we'll see each other there. Oh, I'm sorry. 
God, I, I'm still waiting on clippers. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I need to order clippers. I didn't do that yesterday. Knives I pulled them up and then I didn't order them. Whoopsies! What, what kind of roommate do you think Luna would be like, Desi? Because from how you've described her... She uh, she sounds like the type of person who would put up a whole bunch of like, like decorations that you don't want, and then get very mad at you for like moving them out of place. <laughs> hey, Anders told me what happened. We owe you one for rescuing him. Tell you what, I can give you caps as a thank you or a special recipe Jack cooked up. I'll take the recipe. Here you go. Enjoy it. With Anders out of commission for so long, we're short-handed on runners, and some backlogs have piled up. Mm. We've got an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company who distributes for us in out of Vegas. He's been after us for a new shipment. Sure, I'll do it. Great. Here's the package. Your contact is Don Hostetler at the Crimson Caravan. Come back and see me when you're done. Okay. Crimson Caravan. Oh, wait. Today she had tantrum because I was washing the pillowcases and the pillows weren't comfy enough for her. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, shit, dude. You want to not park like that? Holy fuck, you scared me. Yes, hi. How's it going? You doing okay? Did you have to, did you have to bark loud like that? Yes, I have your paw. I have your paw now. Look at this dog, Desi. Look at her. Look at her. He's adorable. Okay. Lay down, Bella. Lay down. No, not paw. I said lay down. Well, he's been riding asses again. Definitely low. McLafferty. Pretty. She's she, she, Hello she's there. a sweetheart. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? I got a package here from your friends, Jack and Diane. Huh? Oh, oh, right, yeah. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, you should go now, before you draw any attention. Need anything? Uh, is there any work to be here? You know, hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLafferty about work for hire. L um... There was one really adorable moment, so it's like I, I uh... I have a pillow on top of a container in my room. Like, it, it, it just sits there as a backup for uh, for if I don't have enough cushion. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I was... Uh, I forgot that my dogs were in my room. I thought I had accidentally left them outside, and I was like, Oh, no! And I started running to go let them back in, and I turned on the light. Uh, and I look back and they're just looking at me uh, and Nunu was laying on the pillow and it was adorable and Wiggles was laying underneath here like like next to my shoes on the floor so they both just looked at me like what is it and it was like no they're they're so cute I love them ah fuck okay another one of these instances one of those, um, I guess the three doctor's bags. God, why does this place has, have such shitty selection? Alright. Stress in the modern refugee, a primer.
Okay, I'm go I am just gonna have to take some of these weapons back. Uh... Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to head to the clinic real fast. I did walk through wet grass with white shoes, so I don't know what I was expecting. I, I hate that grass can stain. We should stop. Like, that's one of those things where it's like, ah, this sh really should not be a thing, but it is. And it makes me so angry. You're back. You no, I just, I just want to buy an implant. Oh, no, hold on. Uh, there we go. No implants for that. Okay. Kinetic accelerator. What's that do? Bullet time and reload speed plus 50%. Eh. MP generator. Hmm? The pinnacle of cybernetic weapons research, and it's right here in your hands. Literally. The portable EMP generator is embodied in forearm and palm, designed for infiltration and sabotage missions. It is self-powered and highly effective against automated protection systems or energy-based weapons and equipment. You did walk through... Oh, you're really upset. Man. I am so sorry, Desi. Do you think there's, like, common... Uh, do, do you think there's, like, common household stuff that you could just, like, use in order to cure that? Like, I don't know, like, like toothpaste? Like, if you put toothpaste on grass stain, will that fix it? Nanobionic weave. Limb regeneration? Usable in any non-vital body region. The nanobionic weave combines a number of techniques to make the respective area highly resilient. Genetic information is replaced and decentrally stored to allow identical reconstruction if necessary. This reconstruction is handled by nanobots which will repair any sustained structural damage in minutes as long as the user is still alive. And you're saying I could put in any limb? <laughs> Well, I guess that's one leg. Hey. Ah, yes. When well, you have to cut off the leg first in order to put it back on. A classic strategy by doctors. Trust me. I know a medical student. I actually know a few medical students. Uh, I think... I think only one of them is actually still in med uh, medical school. Uh, most most everyone else basically was like, "Oh yeah, this is too much stress," and uh, and backed out. Uh, and they still have like forty thousand dollars worth of debt. Everybody is good. Scorecap, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. And yeah, it's been two years. That's fucking awesome. <sighs> That is crazy. Oh. Damn. It's been that long. There are, there are moments where it's like somebody subscribes, subscribes, and I'm just like, what the fuck? It's, it's been that long? Just finished D&D session where they murdered skeletons by being them in a court of law. That sounds awesome. Hey, seems like you've been making a lot of friends around here. That's fair, Desi. I finished the Crimson Caravan run. Great. Here's your payment. Yay. Now that Anders is back, how about that work? Yeah, you did good finding him. Okay, if you want a little work, I think I can find you something. What is it? What you got? You up for something challenging? 
Yes. I've got a ship of Jet and Psycho that needs to be delivered to Motor Runner at Bolt 3. Sounds good. Pizza cake. Don't get cocky. The fiends are twitchy. Most of them won't bother a con, but the ones outside the vault, well, they're outside for a reason. Here's the package. Good luck. Your payment will be waiting when you get back. Yay. Cool. Let's go, Veronica. We're gonna get fucking destroyed. Alright, this uh, the place I'm fast traveling to has a bunch of uh, fiends right outside of it. Technically, what I can do is just go straight through here. So yeah, uh, I take it it was a good D&D session then. Veronica, please use your weapon. Oh, okay. Really? She okay. That's what you get when you don't use your weapon. God damn it, Veronica. I need you to stop fucking getting murdered. You ready to die? You like to Man, she's fucked up. Home homemade plasma rifle. This motherfucker... I have stress is playing a non charisma character and suffering. I. Ah. <sighs> uh, that makes me so sad. I, I hate playing a character that. Uh. Well, well, are they suffering or are they useless? Like. Just want to be sure on that distinction. Like, is it just harder, or is it like, you guys take care of this, I'll, I'll just be back over here until the combat starts. Son of a fuck. Plus one total chaw. Mm. Hey, that plus one could really come in handy. You can make up for that with ranks. What the fuck? There we go. God damn it, Veronica! Ah! Suffering but desperate to do social negotiations. Very fair. Not yet. Wow! Oh. I take care of him. Baraka, look out! <laughs> she she didn't look out. Yo, just, 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 just wait here. Just wait here. You, you have no energy weapon resistance, uh, and it clearly shows. Go on quick save so I don't have to keep doing that. See? Easy. You just gotta throw grenades at everyone and you win. Things are looking okay for the moment. No sign of intelligent life forms anywhere. I killed the person that was in there? Oh, yep, there's their body. 
Give me your micro fusion cells. I remember, um, there's a uh, Fallout um, uh, role playing game. <sighs> Uh, you know, it's based off of a D100 system. Basically, the you know it, the way that works is like, oh yeah, if you want to use this, uh, if you want to do this, uh, you know, because it's like in the games alone, you just put points into things until they get up to a hundred. In earlier editions, you could actually, uh, you can actually go above that, and the uh, this role playing system is based off of that. Uh, it's based off the earlier edition, so it's like, uh, you know, let's say you're taking a shot with a, uh, with a small gun, you know, it, then basically what it does is it's like, oh, hey, you have 60 in your small gun, so you gotta roll below 60, but wait, you're in complete and utter darkness, so you have a minus 40, so you only have a 20% chance of hitting. Uh, and I was, uh, and that was basically my precursor to understanding how, um, uh, the, how Warhammer worked. Your gun is broken. <laughs> Your gun is broken, minus 20. I think that is a thing. I think, uh, I think durability might... In earlier, actually, uh, in the earliest Fallouts, uh, guns did not have durability, so you didn't have to deal with that. But... <laughs> I'd have to check the role-playing guide. The role-playing guide. In my Coca-Cola. God, ED is just wrecking shop. He's just like, look at all the fucks that I give. And boom. Good job, ED. Your head is broken, minus 30. Yep. <laughs> there you go, now you got it. Or what was it? Your eyes are shot out, so it's a minus 100. So you have to have over 100 just to hit if your eyes have been uh, gouged out. Yeah, yeah Edie has energy resistance or I mean I should just say he he's fucking he's a tank he's got he's made of metal so he just doesn't give a fuck half the time the fuck I know where I'm aiming yeah it's actually pretty worthwhile to uh, aim for the eyes what is it Bella what is it are you wanting out I think it's Bella. I, I think Bella wants out. I let her in. I we we put her in a cage during the night because uh, uh, she likes to rip things apart. But uh, she was she was whining earlier, so I went ahead and let her hang out here. But I think it's about time that she goes to bed. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Are you okay? Are you okay with going in the cage? Are you okay with going in the cage? You okay with that? Okay. Okay. I'll put you into your cage and get your victory ready. Okay. Does, uh... What? Oh, okay. Okay. Have a good night, Scorecab. Take care of yourself. Yeah, get, get some rest. Fucking, you know, make that headache go away. I'm gonna put uh, Bella into her crate.
back. There's uh uh the laundry room is just across the way from my room. So you know it's like I go down a hallway. Find vault three. <laughs> Objective, find vault three. Um So basically I go down the hallway and then you know there's a left and a right. And, uh, you know, left is a door to my room. And then right uh, is just utter blackness during the night. And I always am, like, I, I always rush to get into my room because I'm, like, one of these days somebody will have broken in through the back door and is going to be fucking hiding there to murder me. Uh, <laughs> I always do, like, a little breach and clear where I'm, like, uh, uh we're good, go! <laughs> House tour? No. Aw, oh, just when I refuse. Pack of cigarettes. You want to see the abyss? I stared into the abyss, and the abyss stared back. Hey, you got a second? What is it? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. I'll take you back there. First chance I get. Great. Oh. Thanks. Thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. What the fuck are you doing here? You've got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole. Final warning, asshole. Get the fuck out of here, or we are gonna waste your ass. Don't get worked up, yeah, I'll fuck leave. Off and be grateful you're still breathing. How do I leave? Oh, okay. Uh, how is everyone I know sleeping? What the heck? I I don't know. There's some days where like people, everyone just seems to be like done. I don't know how to put it. Just there there are days where people are like What the fuck are you looking at? Fuck, 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 fuck. Where am I? Oh, okay, okay. Uh my <laughs> my dad came in. Uh I guess when that conversation happened and I think I chose the wrong dialogue option because of it? I'm not sure. I like turned my head and was I, I was talking with him because he was wondering if I had ate, eaten some of the leftovers. And it was like, fuck yeah, I did. Yeah, we had spicy ribs. Aw. Yes! But does jump. Yeah, we had spicy ribs, Desi. Desi, we had spicy ribs. I was a. Uh, I require attention. My attention <laughs> providers are all useless right now. I mean, I'm here, Desi. What am I, chopped liver? Come on. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's wear the Great Khan outfit. No power armor, no energy weapons, and they're getting. Also, do you do hey, you just say no power something? armor, no energy weapons? They're filled with energy weapons. They have energy weapons for days. This is what I've been waiting to see. A big bad con bringing in the medicine. How about you toss some psych on my way? Where's your boss? He'll want to know you were hitting me up for freebies. Hey, no need. No need. I was just kidding. Motor runners down oh, okay. in the maintenance wing. <coughs> behind me, down the hall, down the stairs to the right. I was just kidding about tossing me some psycho. So you don't gotta say anything about that. Yeah, okay. We have a con coming through to see the boss. Don't shoot at him. Yay, I am get some more chems. I am con. Con Sleep is more interesting than me. I'm so sorry. Desi, that's not true at all. In fact, if you're still awake after the stream, I will message the fuck out of you. Oh. Oh. They got a pretty nice, like they, I gotta admit, they keep this place pretty damn clean. I guess this room they weren't exactly able to get into, but uh, let me let, let me see the rest of the vault. Uh, I take what I said back. <laughs> Never mind. Fear. Why you fearing, Desi? Why you scared? You scared? Hmm. Hmm. Water leak dinner, RE dinner? Thank you. Fuck, where are we gonna get our shit from now that the cons are all buddy buddy with the NCR? What? That's. What? That's not true at all. Hey, what you up to? I'm a flying robot? Man, I must be fucked up. You're dying a horrible death. What kind of horrible death? I wasn't expecting a resupply so soon. So you have anything from Red Rock Canyon to sell me? I have some cams that I can sell. I'm paying 20 caps each for Jet, Psycho, or Buff Out. I suppose you can pay a little better. These are my prices. I don't negotiate. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I've got a package here from the Fiends, Jack and Diane. About goddamn time. Tell the cons they can't keep a steady supply. We'll find someone who can. There's a nice chainsaw you got there. I wasn't expecting a resupply. Uh, I can, I can sell you some jet. Okay, got anything else? Oh god, I gotta sell them one all at a time. Only left to sell. Time for me to leave. Thanks for doing business. Dude's pretty lax. Yo, for a dude that's like fucking supposed to be goddamn tripping balls 24 7, he's pretty chill. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I really hope me taking this thing doesn't piss him off. God damn, I need to fix it. Hello. <laughs> Fine, Didn't we like kill their people, fiends? Well, we did, uh, but they don't care. Basically, the fiends, uh, they. Mm, the fiends are not uh, an organized group. You know, 
Uh, it's, it's basically like there's... Mo most of them are just fucking drug addicts that are strung out of their minds and attacking it everyone and everything and basically uh just common raiders uh these people in vault 3 are a bit uh are basically the same however uh there is a difference in that they uh are at least doing work or they're at least trading with the great cops <laughs> this looks fucking awful is that an oven mitt? Are we wearing a fucking... What? Oh, right, right. Because our weapon requires an oven mitt to hold. Okay. Okay. I was like, does this uniform come with an oven mitt? You know, I gotta admit, uh, this works. This works. Hold on, let me take off the helmet. Let, let me put on some sunglasses. You know what? I gotta admit, this works. I'd like to get an officer cap uh, to put on top. See how that looks. How's this look? <laughs> okay. I'm satisfied. Desi, why are you, why are you tentacling Lucario? Ah, uh, yes, Lucario, the mascot of the furries. This is Lucario, the mascot of the furries. Did you make that delivery yet? I finished the Vault 3 run. And you didn't even get skinned alive. I'm impressed. Here's your payment. Yeah, what's your dad, bad? Any new jobs for me? Not right at the moment, but you could talk to Jack. He's always looking for new recipes. Yeah, 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 okay. How's my most favorite? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have any new recipes. Sign scares me. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yeah, on the contrary. I'm just giving you some electron charge packs and microfusion cells. Jeez. Yeah, look at that bad boy. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm I'm good to go. Let's look around here. Mm, what was I doing? Oh, yes, I remember. We need to sleep. It's more, I think, Lion King. You think Lion King is... Is the mascot of the furries? Because the the Lion King, like the lines from the Lion King, they're they're not um. Fuck, what what's what's the word? They're um. They're they're not drawn as animorphs. They're 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 drawn as normal lions. Also, that dude died. What? Oh nope. Nope, he's fine. Just Brotherhood Scribe Jacob, he's doing okay. Now where... Uh, that one. <sighs> the fuck is that emo? I love it. I wonder about these beds. Like, are these just like deep frames and then like basically they put the mattresses inside of the frames? Or are they just sleeping on metal blocks? I'm gonna say it's that first one. And now I'm hungry and thirsty. It 
Iguana Steak. There we go, we're good. And I could just drink water from the toilet. I just gotta find the toilets. This is classroom, I think. Yep. Quickly, tell me, where is the toilet? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Is this the toilets? No, nah, it's just a kitchen. Actually, it's more like a dining room. It's not even a kitchen. Where's the toilets? These aren't the toilets. Where the fuck? I can't find the toilets. How do you people live? Ah, here they are. Ah, don't worry guys, we found the toilets. Desi, have you ever drank from a toilet? Legitimate question. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, right, Veronica's doing her thing. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? Well, not in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen... I'm just here. ...other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. I pray you day. We'll Thank you, Desi. Waiting in a hole that doesn't answer my question, die. though. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Okay. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. Have you considered that he might be right? Uh, have you considered that he might be senile? The Brotherhood's strategy for survival worked back when we had a larger force and no organized enemies. We're a tiny splinter from a shrinking group. We don't take on new members, but we're still picking fights with the big boys. You think the Elder will listen at all? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. So what is it you're trying to accomplish? That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're going to survive, we have to find a role in society. Attract new members. How do you propose to do that? Look at the followers of the apocalypse. Yes. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude, spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. Mm. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. Mm. Uh, what could we bring to him that would change his mind? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Father Elijah? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert, chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. Well, let's head out. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. 
Will you drink a cup of spicy tea like at my time at Porsche? Mm, yeah. What is this? Yeah, I'd do it. Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the elder. The two of you may have the elder fooled, but we know better. What? Veronica has always twisted the founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our elders' thinking. Okay. Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. Yeah, that's fair. How may I assist you? Hey, scribe Ibsen. Don't work too hard there, Ibsen. Yes, yes. Where the fuck? Where? Where the fuck am I go? Where am I? Okay, okay. God, I got so thrown off there for a moment. I was like, what? What the? What the? Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Yep, they're all right here. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. All these Why don't tunnels you go tell the look the, the same. News? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. A jammed minigun. A malfunctioning super sledge. Hello. Broken power armor. Back again, I see. Yeah. Have you found all the components we need? Yes, I did. Lorenz is on it. <sighs> Good news for a change. Basically, wrote. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect. For the power armor training, to be precise. Moreover, so I don't have to use the perk the to get it. And keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. Cool. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. Yeah. Welcome, outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. I can't tell what age this guy's supposed again. to be. Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios, but I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? I want to join the Brotherhood. You've certainly earned the right, but I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Hmm. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. Have I not already done no shit for you? I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such a service. Bullfuck! However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? <sighs> yes, what's the task? As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. I want you to head up to the summit of Black Mountain and install this remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck. Yes, I suppose you can join if you do me another favor. You slut! You slut! 
I think when I exit here, I actually have to fight uh, those three paladin uh, Brotherhood of Steel paladins. That woman's neck was crooked. She had a real crick in her neck. Let's get this out now. Actually, let's use the uh, two-step goodbye. I think that'll technically do more damage because it has uh, the potential for explosions. Ooh, got something good for. Oh. Yes. There you go. Oh, okay, not yet. Does jumping at the was my. Well, I've already, uh, already cleared out Black Mountain, so let's just fast travel up there. I don't know if they've respawned yet or not. I don't know if they do respawn or not. Oh, God. I, I saw my mini-fridge in the corner of my eye, and I freaked out for a second. I was like, ah! <laughs> All right. It's irradiated up here. Let's see a centaur tongue. And radix. There. I fear for Veronica's life. You stop that right now. Rajax? What? What? Oh, it's not a weapon. Wait. Oh, no, it is. There it is. Interesting. You, you're next! <laughs> he, he didn't stand a chance. Quick save. Universal Orland Resort. We hope to open soon. Oh, god damn it. Literally all of the big businesses are just like, yeah, we, uh, we, we hope that we can open up, uh, uh, real soon. And it's like, you guys haven't done anything to make things better. Literally, the bit uh, because of the way the U.S. works, uh, big businesses have more sway than anyone else. Like they easily, by this point, could have been like, "Hey, so um, you know, uh, you there, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Senator, um, you know, I I'd be willing to give you a small lo a, a small small bit of uh, money, you know, j just like, you know." 10,000 uh, in order to uh, in order to enforce mask law <laughs> no I installed that thingy <coughs> uh, well I think I'm going to go to Helios. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Hold on. I don't have to do Helios just yet. I have to do this first. I don't have to, but it's, pro it's advisable. I heard Trump wants to open schools and at the same time his son doesn't have to go in person at his school. Wait. Is his, st is his son still in school? What? I is he in school or is he in university? And an extension to that, is it Trump University? Because he, he, like, he could just be given the fucking 
thing by this point. It, it, like, it's very clear that they aren't actually being taught anything. Like, he's going to get uh, full, full marks no matter what he does. He could fuck his own teacher for all, like, 30 years that he's there, and he'll still be given a uh, a 4.0 GPA. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Farming technology? Hmm, more or less. Supposedly, it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. Uh, tell me about the rangefinder. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios-1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios-1 for a time. Lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals had been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. What's a pulse gun? Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. Hmm. Uh, the, the rangefinder sounds promising. They defended Helios like it was their last stand. Didn't even know if there was anything worth defending. How could there be, with all we lost? Even if it did work, it'd be under NCR control now. So it'd either prove our goals are wrong, or we're incapable of pursuing them. There's a pawn shop in Outer Vegas we could check. And I've heard of a gift shop in the Strip that deals in pre-war antiques. Let's go find I it. I like the way you think. Yeah. Subject E. Diagnosis complete. Begin recording. Oh! My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Log playback continue. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. Log playback continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Hmm. Well, I know that we have to get Helios up and running later, but eh, it won't matter. It doesn't matter. What? No, oh, that's not my problem. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Oh, dude, this dude's fucking high as fuck. Have a look, baby. Yeah, his eyes are goddamn glazed over. Dixon's jet. Dick Your jet sucks ass. But it only sells for seven, so I guess it's not all that bad. You want some ammunition scrub? Uh, you can't pay for it all, so uh, I'll just take some buff out. Um, some fixer. Okay, there you go. Pleasure. Yeah. Cool. Oh. 
did it. I'm sure he's okay. What was I doing? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I was... This way! Oh, come to Mick and Ralph's. Bye. Well, so long, kiddo. I like that kid. Okay, supposedly there's some shit over here. I don't know. Oh, wait, do I have to go through? Do I have to go through the big doors for this? Oh, I hope that's not the case. I don't want to have to go through the big doors yet. Ah, oh, shit. It looks like I have to go. Let's go to Miguel's pawn shop then. Howdy. Howdy. Miguel. Here to do business? Yes. I'm looking for an antique rangefinder somebody might have sold to you. Antique rangefinder? trying to think of something that'd be more worthless maybe an antique horoscope or an antique sandwich antique I'll horoscope sounds great good luck finding that thing but if you do find it don't waste your time trying to sell it to me me buy things of course all right i got some i got some guns i can give you I could give that to Veronica. He uses microfusion cells, so. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the outfits I'll just hold on to. Some cigarettes. More cigarettes. Uh. Oh, yeah, I can offload the mantis eggs now. Mantis legs. The toys are mine. I'm not getting rid of them. I don't care who says what. I'm holding on to them. They're mine. Give me a shout. Cool, you have a good one. Baron Trump, ninth grade, his private school, no in person learning in fall. Baron Trump isn't Trump Jr., right? Like, like the one that looks like a slime ball. It's not him, right? Like, like this is another kid of his, right? The younger one, okay. Okay, I wanna be sure on that one. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know he had a younger son. I only knew about Trump Jr. and I, I know about like Trump Jr. and Ivanka. I know they exist. I'm pretty sure I know where to buy the... Oh. Don't worry, kid. We saved you. That kid almost got shot. I'm pretty sure I know who I, who you can buy the, the thing from. I just don't remember where they're at. 
Like, because it's not up in Freeside. It's somewhere in this area. It's in the slum shitty area. Oh, cool. They had an actual area t for this. Yo, what's up, dude? Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Ooh, look. A body. I really should... <laughs> Ooh, look, a body. I really should be going. What's your rush? The boys and I here want to get to know you better. Over here. Spare some ammo. And settled. Fourteen years old. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> ah. God, I don't know why. Mm. I don't know why I'm coughing. I I swallowed. Uh, I swallowed very weird earlier. Like I swallowed my saliva earlier, and I started coughing uh, quite a bit because of it. But ah, should have passed by now. I think it's a guy at one of these slum at one of these slum locations. This one's unpopulated though. That's weird. Crown detected. Goddamn Zorfus. Hey there. Hey, pal. Nope. Ah, uh, yes. The dumpster. Cheapskate. I'm not giving him a cap. Listen. Listen. Fuck him. People don't become rich by giving charity to the poor. Nah, you, you gotta fucking hold on to that shit. Be like, what's that? Oh, you're dying of leukemia? Well, <laughs> say goodbye to your family. God, that... That entire... That entire thing just made me sad. I feel bad now. I, uh, oh, and give Mama Murphy drugs, but not give a poor ghoul some caps. Yeah, because I don't use the drugs. Drugs are worthless to me. Everything has a worth, and drugs are worthless. Think about it. Makes sense. Seriously, where the... Like, the guy that sells the rangefinder should have been over there, if I can remember correctly. Everybody is good. Zara, thank you for the 14 months. God. There's two subscriptions today, yay! Desi would be so proud. Oh, also, Krakul is here. How's it going, dude? For the Brotherhood. Could sell the drugs for caps. Yeah, but I can also just sell the weapons for larger amounts of caps. Also, I might come into a situation where I might need them. You know, like, I, I don't like using buff app, but... Hey, PB, I'm, ah, I found him! I found another gnome! Hell yeah! Death, death claws. I mean, I'm playing with realistic damage, so death claws really, like, I can spear them to death with one attack. That being said, in base game, yeah, death claws are terrifying. Uh, my way of actually dealing with death claws in uh, Fallout 4 was to I would use uh, what was it, Plinkley's knife or something. The, the knife that dealt bleed damage, and I would just take Jet in order to slow down time. Because basically by the time he would finish, a uh, Death Cloud would finish a swing, you could be on the other side of them uh, while on Jet. And it was amazing. So yeah, in Fallout 4, like, you know, drugs are all the rage. Drugs are amazing in Fallout 4. Uh, but, uh, you know, past that, uh, I don't know. Psycho, Psycho is pretty useful. 
if you're up against a big boss. Um, again, I'm playing with four, uh, not four times damage, um, realistic damage. I say realistic damage, but I guess it is just four times damage. Um, which basically makes Psycho useless, except against, like, the biggest of beasties. Did Fallout 1 have Iguana Bit quest? I believe so. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is a thing in the first game. It's been a while since I last played the first game, though. I don't remember much of it. Um, I also remember, like, in that game, you have to start, uh... You, you have to invest into energy weapons because um, uh, after a certain point, your uh, every enemy has like, like 8,000 damage resistance against normal uh, physical damage. And it's like, well, okay. Cherry lit. Well, fucking blast that lock off. Hell yeah. Let's get in there. Yo, how's it to flee. Just as well me administer. Look at all of this free food. So much nuka cola a sunset sasper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of here. Kinds of cigarettes. Oh my god. Rum and Nuka? That sounds great. And they're just able to sell that? Says this Asperilla lamp, don't give a fuck. And a bunch of whiskey. Moonshine, meh, beer, you. Vodka, meh. Scotch, mmm. Whiskey, okay. More Rum and Nuka. I don't know if Rum and Nuka heals me. Hold on. Let me take a look. Uh, it does not. It reduces my sleep a bit, though. Uh, we'll hold on to it. Mentats. New people, Elefanta. Yeah, I'm taking all of the magazines. Ah, uh, they were responsible and kept all of the cigarettes behind the cage. Ah, along with their gun. Uh, they, they had spare cash in a box. This is a very... You know what? Like, this was at by the mod, but I'm amazed at the attention to detail. They they knew what they were doing. Meh. <sighs> Where's this lead? Upstairs, there's more? Whoa! Oh. Is this a business meeting? Hold on one moment. I'm just checking anything real fast. Okay. Okay, just, just need to check a thing. Okay, let's see here. Um, monthly sales data. Market share in Southwest U.S. Okay, so so it's the different areas where shares are had. Quite a bit is in Canada. Hmm. They had spare cash registers. That, 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 um. That's interesting. And their bathroom was upstairs. That's also interesting. Ah, it's the physics boxes that you could just push wherever the fuck you want. Give me those iguanas on a stick. Can, can I? Nope. Okay. More cartons of cigarettes. Dino toy. I already got one on me. Bobby pin. <gasps> we just hit the mother load. 
Oh my god, this box is filled with so many cherry bombs. That that is so many doors that we can open. Get the f okay. Oh my goodness, that is oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. Hey, some sensor modules as well. That's cool. They have an egg timer. I don't need it, but it's there. Uh, toaster. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's see what's on this terminal. Realistic weight mod. <laughs> Uh, there actually is a thing for that. I don't have it downloaded because, uh, I was already dealing with reduced weight. Or reduced carrying capacity from one of my mods, so I was like, it's fine. Uh, and then I put 10 into strength. So, <laughs> and got a backpack. And probably notice one. Just a note to remind you all, we will be leaving on the 10th for Washington, D.C. and return on the 28th. All our contact numbers are on the list in the cash register. Bill and Betty Cherry. Oh, they're fucking dead. I'm proud to announce Jimmy Kemp's is employee of the month. He will receive a $100 bonus, a day off with pay, and his choice of two bottles. Betty and I want to thank Jimmy for his dedication and excellence in service to Cherry Liquor and our customer and our customers. Bill Cherry. Hi everyone. Due to another year of record profits and the new exclusive contract we landed with the Lucky 38, Bill and I are pleased to inform you all that uh, this year's raise will be 15% and the healthcare plan will now cover dental and vision with no increase to you. We're lucky employers and and want to share with our lawyer, loyal employees. You have grown to become our extended family. Betty Cherry. Man, Betty's been fucking using some shit. Project Navarre lowers weight a lot. It, it lowers it a lot. Didn't land in the trash can, but I'll get it later. Closing reminder. When closing at night, please, please remember to put all cash and store weapons in the safe. I can't stress how important this is due to past robberies. Thank you, Bill Cherry. Ah, uh, someone failed to do that. New security system. As you guys know, we have been robbed a few times, which is a few times too many for me. So I've paid to have Evan Tide Security come in. They will be installing new locks, cameras, bars around the counter, uh, taking over the computer system, and bringing us a robot. Let's hope this will help keep the low lives out of our store. If anyone has questions, just ask Betty or myself. Bill Cherry. By the way, when you guys come to the house for the Christmas party, don't be alarmed. Evan Tide. Uh, don't be alarmed. Evan Tide threw in a free bot for the house. Oh, that's cool. That's a. That sounds like a good security company. Yeah, I think the only uh, unrealistic thing about this place is that the bathroom is upstairs. Which uh, seems to be a company, but... Or there's only one bathroom. Well, no, never mind. That That's fair. That actually is something that, that I see pretty, uh, pretty normally. Where it's like, hey, can I use the restroom? And they're like, go to the service area. They mentioned a safe. Did you guys see a safe? Did, did any of you guys see a safe? Because I didn't see a safe. Yeah, I don't... I don't see a safe anywhere around here. 
I think the safe was a lie. Eh. House flippers looking at fallout buildings. Free real estate. Look at this giant Nuka Cola bottle. They also col uh, they, they collected bottles so that they can recycle them. This place is great. Let's leave. God. Again, I, I really like having these new locations. Uh, because they they really it's one of those things of like, oh, I've I, I have I've never been here. I've never seen this. What's it like? Wow. Wow. They love hiding stuff. That they do. I've only found two fucking gnomes in my uh in my time playing <laughs> this playthrough, and I'm like almost level 30. I think I'm level 28 right now. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. Uh, you can get perks to... Well, there is one perk where we can fill up empty bottles in a toilet. Uh, there is... Also, a place in Blue Mount, or there is a uh, a thing in Blue Mountain which will allow you to fill up your uh, bottles with purified water. This guy was a juggalo. He, <laughs> you can make him a juggalo again, or gigolo, gigolo. Yeah, gigolo. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Hey, look! That guy's making a break for it. Whoa. The sad thing is, is he is at the door. He should be able to just go through. Actually, it's locked, so never mind. A door that requires a key. Okay, so we're at a bit of an issue when it comes to Veronica's quest line because it seems as though in order to advance it, we have to go through there. And that's not something I want to do right now because uh, that will cause the NCR and Caesar's Legion uh, representatives to approach me and uh, cleanse my... Uh, cleanse my faction rank with them. Uh, and I'm not wanting to do that right now. Yo, hmm. Because if I, I can remember correctly, uh, N Nellis? Nellis, the place where there's the um, NCR captives, uh, technically, technically there are, uh, basically there's a quest for that and then there's a quest for Camp Golf. Uh, and basically what you can, uh, you can only do one of the quests. So I guess, you know, I'm losing out on a quest either way, so I could just go ahead and wipe out Camp Nellis. Well, fuck. Because there might be other uh, quests at Camp Nellis. I'll, I'll do a bit of research. And uh, look into it again. The Kings. Hungry? No. No. Well, I guess in the meantime, let's just go to M McNamara and be like, yo, we did the thing. Over here. Yeah, let's go get our fucking power armor. 
Uh, also, yeah, um, Zara, you're gonna want to eat something and walk around a little bit. There you are. A few of us want to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. So we set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Cool. This box is empty. You didn't put shit in that box. Create like six mozzarella sticks. Does that count? Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. Um, all you're wanting to do is make sure that you get something into your system in order to uh, start up your um, your metabolism. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? There you go. Um, that's another thing also, uh, uh, have you drinking something as well? Uh, juice, milk, uh, or water are preferable. Uh, actually coffee is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, coffee is perfectly fine as well. And tea. Basically anything that's not a soda is good for you when you first wake up. Greetings, my friend. That being said, I always I drink a soda I whenever I first wake up because I'm a fucking monster. <laughs> I installed the device up at Black Mountain, uh, as instructed. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. No problem. Now, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Hell yeah. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Uh, please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. You see, you first have to snugly fit the crotch there. piece. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. Oh, yeah. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Yay! You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Oh, did I just fill a quest? No, no, that was that that was completing a quest. Okay. I got scared there for a moment. That sounded like a failed quest thing. Uh sweet. Yes, does jumping Ooh, got some. Yeah, you can have this armor. Cause I got some back at home. Also, oh my god. Oh, there you go. The damage threshold on that sucks ass because it's in such piss poor condition. My god. And I know exactly where to go to get my power armor. Down below. In Australia. Do a dress item actually exist? Yeah, I believe it's a pre war. Uh, pre war. Park stroller outfit or something? Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Good news for this, though, let me tell you. I can't wait to start getting more goods. So what are you here for? Uh, sale. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. I actually can't do anything with that, so I'll just sell it. Uh, in this, I'll sell... 58. There we go. Got a bunch of, uh, cigarettes. War money. Do I want to sell the rum and uh, and nuka? Yeah, I'll just sell it. It doesn't give much uh, very good uh, bonuses, so 
Yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of it. And then there's that shotgun. Still need to give that uh, rifle to Veronica. So, what can I get for all this? Chris Lightning! Plasma pistol. Gun runners. Super Sledge Classic. I love it. The DPS on this one, on the classic, is lower. I guess that's fair. It only weighs 12 pounds. It's not as it's not as heavy, you know. Does it does it require energy cells? Cause the uh, the classic uh, the classic um, power fist and uh, super sledge required energy cells if you wanted to attack with them. The movie? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I guess I could spare the, what, 13,000 caps in order to buy this. It's not like I won't be able to make it back. Yeah, but I have two step goodbye. Oh, whoop. Give me a shout if you. The word came down from the elder that I. Uh, anything I can help you with? If you must know. My inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. I could look around for the pistol. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Have you found it? No. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Okay. Wanna double check on that one. Welcome to the range. Feel you know anything about a weapon that's gone missing? Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out, but checked it back in a day later. See you later. Hmm. Stanton. Oh, no, you're not Stanton. Hello. You, yes, help you're you? Stanton. You were the last one to check out the missing laser pistol, right? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins Stanton, and I huh? snuck out one day. Yeah. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice, but before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Hmm. I did the record show that the gun was turned back in. Oh, I sort of altered the records after we got back. That was Watkins' idea, too. That girl is nothing but trouble. You should marry Still, her. I haven't been exiled yet, or worse, assigned to latrine cleaning duty. But I will if you don't help me find that gun. Fine, I'll find the gun. Great. When you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear. Well, I guess I could continue with, well, hmm. I'm going to grab Lily, uh, because she's going to be the tankiest companion that I can have, I believe. Um, and then I'm gonna go back underground in order to uh, continue with that whole uh, killing the, what, what were they called, like tech raiders or something like that? I remember one of them had Tesla armor. I hope that, I hope that that's still the case. It's here. Oh no, rope found the laser pistol. Again, I I don't know what it is, but like fucking, uh, 
fucking Richard Nixon from... I mean, well, R Richard Nixon from Family Guy is just, like, the greatest creation of all time. Which, to be fair, I guess, you know, he's actually just based off of Richard Nixon, and he's apparently, like, really close to how Richard Nixon acted as well. What the fuck? I just grabbed the lizard, man. I wasn't even thinking about it. I don't even want it, though. Anyways, I'm gonna punch things. I got a power fist and I'm ready to kill. Look out, world, here I come. Bring it! What the fuck? What? What? Oh, was that part of this weapon? Because I remember it says on crit, explode. I thought it was just, a, you know, an explosion. Is it actually closer to like a, uh, like a, it leaves a mine on them? Oh, we were level 20. Oh, so now we're level 30. Well, let's get our explosives maxed out. And what, what new stuff we got? Implant, GRX. You gain a non-addictive subdermal turbo chem injector. This perk may be taken twice with the second rank increasing the effect from 2 to 3 seconds and the uses per day from 5 to 10. Activate in pit boy inventory. Fuck, what, what does turbo do again? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I don't like how it does that goes onto a loop and it's awful uh, uh let's see oh oh okay so it's basically bullet time okay where's your power armor I'm going I'm gonna get it uh, I'm gonna go down below and get it oh yeah burn to bear I could carry 50 more pounds I mean that's that's just a no-brainer I also, uh, what, yeah, what's the perk with Veronica? When Veronica is one of your companions, you and your companions have 10% chance to knock down when your enemy, uh, d knock down your enemy with an unarmed weapon. Oh, that's chill. Burn to bear. There we go. I got a couple of achievements there. Sweet. We can now carry over 400 pounds. Oh, uh, this poor schmuck. The spiders! The spiders! Get out of here! Oh, you're next comer! Oh, okay. You win the ability to carry 50 more pounds of junk. Yeah! It's what I've always wanted. I want this. I want this. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go back underneath, uh, underground. But before I do, what I'll do is I'll head over to Jacobstown and I'll pick up Lily. Because, again, Lily is going to probably have an easier time 
Like, she's the tankiest, uh, companion that I can have. And, you know, uh, I kind of, I kind of need, I don't need the companions with me, but I do want some companions there. Uh, if anything, so I can tell them to wait and still benefit from having them in the group. What's up? It's time for us to part ways. Everyone always say that? I, ju I just think we should right for right now, yeah. Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt or scrap metal or something. Yeah. Hello again, dear. Hi, Lily. Let's travel together. Cool. Uh, where is it? There it is. God damn it. What, one thing that annoys me about this game is that, uh, well, I ha Is it? No, no. Uh, I have it in full screen mode. Lily, use your gun, oh, damn it. Me. I thought I already won. What? Uh, so one thing about, uh, this game is that even when it's in full screen, it's not truly in full... Uh, it, 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 hmm, how do I put this? Ba basically, if I end up clicking on something on my other window, and then I end up scrolling in game, uh, it will cause, cause the chat to scroll. And then I have to go back in, and I have to click on chat in order to differentiate or something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. How is Stealth Girl different from Stealth Boy? Uh, Stealth Girl is a perk, hold on. Stealth Girl. While Lily is a companion, the duration of Stealth Boys is increased by 200%, and all sneak attack critical hits do an additional 10% damage. There you go. Okay. Round two. Go get them, guys. Yep, have fun. God damn. They're just like, a single feed is outside the door! Get him! Yeah, double longer. 200% so it's it's lasting three times as long. Which actually, it, it would be very worthwhile. My god, fuck it, please! Please, it's a single feed! You have guards for days that can take care of it. Thank you. There we go. Yep, but uh, we we'll go ahead and take on the tech raiders. I hope I hope they don't respawn because otherwise we're gonna have to do a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of work. But that being said, um, that being said, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, we are at a point where we are all forms of strong and can deal with them. Hey, guys. Just dancing to some slow, sorrowful country music. Guys, do... Is... Okay, no, you you can you can dance to country music. Like that's what square dancing was. Square dancing was like specifically like, yeah, we dance to country. Um I was about to ask like, do you do you think that uh can, can you dance to country music? And then I realized like, yeah, you absolutely can. Uh but you I don't think you can dance to like slow country music. Like, I'm sure there's people that do, like, a waltz to it, but in all honesty, no. Hey, Maceling. Maceling would get fucking destroyed if he went after... If he were to join me for this. Okay. What, one of the, uh, one of the team that accompanied me is still here. There they are. Hey. You're the only one left. Q. 
keep your distance. Because if you don't, you will die. Because if you don't, you will die. Uh, I'm not seeing... I, Yeah, I'm not seeing enemies. It, uh, it definitely spawned their body. Oh, no. Mm. Okay, no, okay, no. Uh, the troopers are absolutely dead. They got absolutely eradicated. But, uh, the bodies of the tech warriors has, has gone away. My girlfriend fucked my dog and then my dog got ran over. Country roads. <laughs> Take me home. To the place. That I belong! West Virginia! There we go. That's my armor. Oh, that was a ghoul? That's cool. Anti-weapons plus 10. Rad resistance plus 20. This gives me charisma plus 1. Mm -hmm. I love you, Nunus. I love you. Yeah, those are good kisses. You give such good kisses. I love you too. Mwah. Oh, I, oh God, I don't know if I like this. Looks cool though. Uh, Lily, you mind carrying my previous armor? I think currently uh, the armor, both of these armors are giving me the same amount, but I'll be able to repair this arm. Oh, hey, that that's my frag mine. I placed these. You know I love you more. Fuck no, you don't. That's my dog. You can't love your. You can't love my dog more than me. I fucking take care of her. So this place sucks because it's just filled with enemies. But we'll give it a go. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Oh my god! Nizinski, no! <laughs> Lily, no! I thought I had her using her gun. Things are happening. Oh. Hmm. I think too much. Yeah, too much was going on and the game crashed. Hey, that's a first. In a while, actually. Anything you can do, I can do better. Anything you can do, I can do more. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Oh my god. <coughs> Some saliva just uh, slid down my esophagus as I burped and ah uh, uh, help. I'm dying. Help. No! Natsitsuki, no! Lily, no! Me, no! Holy shit, this place sucks. 
You know what? I, I just came up with an amazing plan. Amazing plan. Probably the best plan. Okay. It's called run in, throw grenade, wait for it to explode, and then fucking hide. Oh, Nitsi- oh. I can't tell Nitsinski to wait here. Eh, it's not like they're actual companion. Whatever. That's fine. My frag grenades do a fuckload of damage, so we should be okay. Curse my grenade radius! Why does it have to be so large? They shot the grenade out of my hand. <laughs> Aha! You didn't think your grenades would betray you! Nitsinski, you lived. <sighs> I felt immense fear. Where where is he? Oh, this guy. I felt immense fear when this guy <laughs> walked through that door. And I thought that this Tesla cannon was a mini nuke and I was like you wouldn't. <laughs> no. You could give this to Lily. Okay, let's uh see we repair our stuff. Meh. I was thinking like, ooh, I could sell this Tesla armor. Then I was like, right, my caps are, I got plenty. I got plenty of caps. So we managed to complete this place and all it took was a, a minor distraction in the form of Nitsinski and a fuckload of grenades. And, and a few uh, load saves. You know, details. God, can you imagine if I was playing with, uh, with, like, insta-death or whatever? Like, that would be awful. Or not, like, uh, not insta-death, like, Iron Man mode or something, where it's like, if I died, I, it, it was over. That would, fuck. This place would have been such a dick. Again, I'm going to have to do the dust mod at some point. Because that, that mod is pretty damn awesome. A uh, laser rifle. Hmm. 
I don't need the primers. I just need the powder. Technically, the lead as well. Because the lead I can also use for... Uh, uh, I can also use for explosives to open up doors. Plasma grenades, always noise. Cool, we're good to go. Oh, well, actually, there's the other area that we still have to loot. What did you have? Brush gun? Ooh, very nice brush gun. Still in good condition. I'm still amazed Nitsinski lived. Like, he, he should absolutely be dead. Have a good night, Zara. Yeah, yeah, if I end up ending at 2, which is fast approaching. Yeah, so go get your energy drink. Have a good night if I'm uh, not here when you get back, which probably will be the case. I'm big and intimidating, and I got a backpack, and I'm ready for school. <laughs> How would you feel if you went to school? You know, average day, you know, no nothing exciting going on. Uh, and then <laughs> this kid, <laughs> a kid dressed like this walked in. What would be your, what would be your reaction? <laughs> Cause I, I'd be all over him. I'd be like, oh shit, dude, that's so cool. How'd you make that? He'd be like, my father is a part of the Enclave. And I'd be like, whoa. Sunset, say Sparilla. Got all this ammo. Had this still here. There were a lot of people here. Do you think these people were just, like, having a day? Like, you know, they, they weren't expecting company. They were just like, oh, you know, we're just hanging out. You know, fucking having some moonshine. You know, as one does. Because what else are you going to drink in the nuclear apocalypse, you know? Hey, Lily, you want a really cool gun? Yeah, you want a really cool gun? Well, if you Huh, she didn't uh she didn't equip it. Hmm. Oh shit, that reminds me. I need to get you some fucking stim packs. Uh, stim pack. You're 17. Enjoy. That should keep her alive for a while. Uh, one of my limbs is damaged. Which one? I think it's one of my arms. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, I can I can handle that. That's not bad. Some good old fashioned Nuka Cola in order to heal the wounds away. So I think there's still four more people I have to kill. That being said, um What does that mod do? Which mod? Nitsinski. Hey. Here, use this stim pack. Show me what you're carrying. I, I'd like to try and keep at least one person. 
from the fucking suicide mission alive. Here's nine more. It's not like I use them very often. Yeah, and th this guy's got the best chances. He's got, yeah, he's got a big drum shotgun. Dust? Ah, the dust mod is a, uh, it's a survival mod. Basically, uh, you only get one life, and uh, they changed up the game a lot so that, uh, what was it, guns are extremely rare. Uh, ammo is even rarer. Um... And, uh, ba basically a lot of your survival is going to be based off of your wits rather than your, uh, than your stats. Um, it's extremely hard, it's extremely dangerous, but it can be extremely fun, uh, because basically, you know, it's one life. Uh, you die, uh, and that's it. Uh, I believe they also changed up, basically, it, it, it is an overhaul, so I think they changed up a lot of the areas as well, uh, so that they are more, like, uh, so that they're more terrifying, basically. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I, I want to say that food is... Uh, like, even more of a necessity. Like, it's really hard to not be starving. It's been a while since I last played it. I think we can, uh, I think we can finish up this place before we... Missed it! Missed it! Nitsinski, no! Oh, hey, I destroyed them. Good job, Nitsinski. Oh, it was just that simple. Edito! Well. Load up the save. Yeah, so... I could absolutely play Dust. Uh, and... That would be an interesting time. Go get him, Nitsinski. One of you go get him. I don't care who. Just someone. Ed's being brave. Ed volunteered Lily. No! 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 Oh, he's. Okay, for right now. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking to you. I meant to just open your inventory. Um, oh, Nitsinski died. Here is, oh, that's Super Stim Packs. No, th those ones belong to Daddy. <coughs> yeah. D does MedX work work on you? I don't know. Here's like five MedX, have fun. Oh, oh God! Oh God! That didn't go so well. It's since he tried to use a stim pack. Um, here I'll use these. I'll use these guys in order to at least deal with the turrets. I guess. I don't know. It's Sinsky, you fuck. Lily, 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 Lily. <gasps> Nitsinski, no! Oh! 
awesome. Uh, maybe I'll go at this alone. I got I, I got fuckload grenades. Nitsinski, please wait right here. Just just uh, I'll I'll deal with this one. You guys don't come with me. I'll, I'll handle things. It'll be fine. Do I have uh do I have any pulse grenades? No. Okay. I wasn't sure if I kept those with me or not. There we go. Got rid of those. Let's quick save. Missed. Missed a kit. Oh! Arf? Uh. Arf? Arf? Gonna set these uh, frag grenades to six. Don't push them, Nitsinski. It's suicide. There goes Nitsinski. Damn it. Ah, so close. Nitsinski just loves pushing them. He's like, I'm gonna be a hero. It's like, you fool. You foolish fool. Yeah, so uh, I'll just give up on saving Nitsinski. Saving Private Nitsinski. Oh no, you don't. Oh fuck, ah oh, damn. I wonder if the shish kebab would, would have been better there. Also, it looks like I might need to take some Psycho in order to do some extra damage. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take some Psycho. Why not? And yeah, we'll do Med X as well. God damn it, the mind blew me up. Ah! You like that? No. I'm in pain. Please. Let's take some buff out. Uh, there you were. Okay, fungus sounds great. <laughs> claw beast. Death claw meat? Yeah. 
Death of Blood. Sure, Gecko Steak, Healing Powder. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, Nuka Cola. Oh, Spider Venom. Yeah, we can we can take that. I just gotta offset the damage. There we go. <clears throat> ah, what the? Oh, I thought he was dead. That was not the case. That dude's got an anti-material rifle. Th those are frag mines. Got him. Fuck! Minecraft Dungeons is dead until the next DLC, and then after like a week, it'll be dead again unless they do something. It, it came off as that sort of game to me, wrote. Um, it didn't really seem like it had much, uh, it, it seemed like a game that had a lot of re- I guess, I guess re- Fuck. It's kind of like Borderlands in that it's in, it's got a lot of replayability, but it's only really fun the first time. Like, you can keep playing it, you know, like, Dark Souls has replayability and is fun multiple times, um, you know, because there is, like, there's a uh, there 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 feels like a lot of actual risk, whereas Minecraft Dungeons and Borderlands it feels as though you're just since you can wipe out like entire arsenals of enemies without much threat, um, you just kind of go I mean what's the point like you know I could restart but you know then I'm just wiping through a bunch of enemies again, uh you know with the an exception to a few hard levels but I don't know. In any case, uh, it is getting pretty late. I think I will finish up this mission tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll finish up this mission tomorrow. I think that I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. So, I will see you guys then. So, you all stay safe. Remember, do not text and drive. Do not drink and drive. Ten, two people, ten and two. And happy days and sunshine. Have. If you are hanging to bed... Pleasant dreams and all that. I hope to see you guys later. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.